Why does the mysterious number pi, or 3.14159265358979, keep popping up everywhere? And what do circles and their magical qualities have to do with this infinite constant? Join me as we explore these questions in today's episode of Mr. Mark's Math Adventures. Hello, math learners. It's Mr. Marks here, your friendly neighborhood math teacher. Remember, it's not just about getting the right answers, it's about learning and growing along the way. Now, before we dive into today's adventure, remember to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay tuned for future episodes. Now, for today's quest, we're going to be using an animated GIF to explore the wondrous and fundamental constant of pi, or 3.14159265358979323846468427528. The story begins with a circle of diameter one and demonstrates the derivation of pi from the circumference of said circle. Now don't let those fancy words fool you. Whether you're familiar with pi or not, today's episode is all about simple observation, as well as piquing your curiosity. And as we begin, remember that Mr. Mark's AI is always just one click away. It offers instant personalized guidance in exploring the wonderful world of Mr. Mark's math adventures. It's perfect for learners of all ages, and it makes math fun and interactive. And do consider using that companion worksheet. It's a great free tool that you can use to follow along with the episodes and reinforce your learning. Links to both Mr. Mark's AI and the companion worksheet are down below in the description. And without further ado, what do you say we take a look at this animated GIF? And as we watch, let's consider the following questions together. Now feel free to pause, rewind if you need to, just be sure to take your time and explore. What do you notice about the diameter of the circle shown? What do you notice about the circumference of the circle shown? How is the circle first used in relation to the created number line? How do you see pi represented and measured in the animation? How does the animation demonstrate the relationship between a circle's circumference and its diameter? What is that relationship? Hey, as you observe, I encourage you to watch this animation multiple times, note your observations, and share them down in the comments. Hey, each viewing can reveal new insights, and reading what others have to say about what they've noticed and are wondering about is a great way to extend your learning. Are you intrigued to know more about this mysterious relationship between the diameter and circumference of a circle? And what has pi got to do with all this? Stay tuned for an upcoming video where we're going to break it all down into further detail. And in the meantime, why not try reconstructing this animated gift yourself? How would things be different in our animation if we were to double the diameter of our circle? Hey, if you try it yourself, be sure to share your work down in the comments and help your fellow math learners out. Hey, props to you for taking some time out of your day to do some math with me. I hope you followed along, and if you made mistakes, that's all good. Remember that every mistake is a step towards learning something new. And hey, Mr. Mark's Math Adventures is having a giveaway. Click the link in the description below to see the giveaway details and for your chance to win. This is Mr. Mark signing off. I'll catch you next time with another math problem. What did you think? Did you approach this problem differently? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this problem, show your support by liking and sharing this video. And don't forget to follow my page to stay up to date on more math related content. Until next time.